Aloha, everyone, and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World. We're up to episode 13, and I am just loving the shows that we're doing. Today, I have another awesome guest here to talk about the plant-based diet and the vegan lifestyle. Uh, the last episode I did was with Ellen, who is, happens to be my guest today's other half. So I'm going to introduce you to Oahu's Captain Mushroom. <laughs> Welcome, Vance. Thanks. To the Glad show. to be here. Great. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I actually met your beautiful Ellen for the first time a couple of weeks ago and was very excited to hear that you are also not only vegan, but producing some really excellent quality um, local produce here that we're definitely going to delve in and talk about. So mm. welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you're, you're quite fascinating, actually, because I, every time I meet a male vegan, I kind of um, have to know how it all happened, where this journey started for you. And every person I've talked to so far, they actually all say the same thing, that it starts from the woman that they're with. <laughs> so I'm not sure yep. if this is the case with you. That's how it happened. But we will find out. So uh -huh. Vance, um, you are Captain Mushroom. This is the name of your company that you have here. Yep. And you're producing what? Oyster mushrooms, primarily. Yes. Uh, gourmet are, oyster mushrooms. Mm -hmm. That are great. Um, if anyone saw the show last week, you'll remember that we had some here in the studio. And I was fortunate enough to take some of them home and sample them. And I must say that they are excellent quality. I think everyone's going to be excited to get their hands on them. But um, what did you make, by the way? So I did make a stir fry with tofu and a plum barbecue sauce mm. with uh, walnuts and some cranberries that went over a bed of cauliflower rice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, those mushrooms, I think, this fantastic, very very plain olive oil. On the grill, salt and pepper, a bit of fresh lemon juice. You don't really need to do much to them to, you know, bring out the wonderful mess in them. Yeah, so. I've definitely crucified a few batches myself by overcooking or an overspicing. Yeah, I don't think you need to. Um, I noticed that Ellen, your partner, made the um, gyoza, the dumplings with mm. those mushrooms. That's I would call that very high-end dumplings <laughs> because sure. these are, you don't really need to um, use them in that way. So uh, tell me a bit about yourself, Vance. You, are you from here or where, where have you, how did you come to end up in beautiful Honolulu? Oh, that's a good story. Uh, well, I was originally from Washington State. Uh, I spent the last six years down in uh, the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas. I had beautiful a, place. Uh -huh. I had a charter boat company down there, Velocity Boat Rentals, mm -hmm. and had two boats, took out people snorkeling, taught them how to snorkel, and, and was living the good nice. life. Yes. Uh, and then the two Category 5 hurricanes hit us uh, a couple oh, years okay. ago. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. And really devastated the islands. Puerto Rico mm. is still, you know, recovering. Right. And after several months of struggling with no internet, hardly, I mean, we had Wi-Fi, but we didn't have Wi-Fi. It was but not functional Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. It, uh, you know, just a lot of factors had changed. It wasn't as beautiful. There was a lot of, of chaos and problems, and, and uh, the tourism was dramatically reduced and everything. So we were really struggling. Mm -hmm. uh, my boats came through the hurricane okay. All the oh, boats around they? me were uh, devastated. And there was okay. my boats after the hurricane. Wow. And down there the next morning, and they were still floating. Gosh, that was lucky. <laughs> uh, although unfortunate for, for the Others, other boats, yeah. but okay. Uh, but then our daughter moved over here and to Hawaii, and uh, she had us, you know, was telling us how great it was. And, mm -hmm. and so we decided to make the move and start something new. Right. We didn't know what we were going to start, but, you know, mm -hmm. n the beauty of capitalism is anybody can start yes. anywhere and make you know, something happened. If yes. you want it bad enough, you can make it happen. Yes, that's awesome. It's, it's really great to hear that um, even after this experience that you had to go through, you have come to a new island and to a new life and created something that probably wouldn't have happened had you not gone through that hardship. So, no. yeah, great that you're having fun here and doing good things. Yeah. But why did you choose 
mushrooms. It's very um, well, different I, to what I you were doing. To get into something that uh, Ellen and I could both be passionate about, uh -huh. you know, and something that we could believe in and, you know, give back to the world in. And uh, so, you know, I looked at hydroponics. I looked at uh, vegan um, uh, vending machine business. I was all ready to wow. lay down, and, you know, for the uh, vending machine business. Mm -hmm. Ellen didn't quite like that idea. Okay. You know, and so I kept looking, and I was looking at hydroponics, and then I came across mushrooms, and I'm like, oh, you know. Yeah. And I always loved mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I used to pick mushrooms in the wild in Washington State in the Cascade Mountains. And, okay. And uh, up on Mount Rainier as well. And uh, I just, uh, you know, one thing led to another. I got an online course on how to grow them mm -hmm. and started studying YouTube videos. Yep. And, you know, I'm like, okay, this is something that Ellen can get on board with <laughs> and Great. we can do and give back to the community and mm -hmm. make a living as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, speaking to you just before we went on air, you, you were talking about how you grow them. It's a very complicated process and it, it takes a lot of really care and monitoring to to get the mushrooms to grow to that you know quality that you are you are actually um, making them so let's uh, show our viewers now a couple of shots that you have sent in for us the yeah. first um photograph is there you go they, they are actually so huge uh that one on the left there is eight and a half inches wide it's Amazing. just kind of a monster uh elm elm oyster mushroom elm oyster mushroom so that, they have a nice meaty sort of quality to them, don't they? Absolutely. Yeah, so they, they would actually be great for people to try a, as a steak or something like that. Oh, yeah. Some nice vegan butter, garlic, a little uh -huh. bit of marinade, you know. I, yep. That's how I like to enjoy them, um, but I've never seen them that vegan, hearty and meaty, so awesome. Uh -huh. Big mushroom burger coming your way. Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. You know, if something like that was sold in a restaurant. So many people would, would be into that, I'm sure, but they don't really exist, do they, um, food like that in restaurants? Oh, sure, you know. Um, a nice, huge, you know, oh, oyster mushroom burger. I've never seen it before. Yeah, over in Wymanello, I don't remember the name of the uh, health food store over there. They have mushroom burgers right now, but they're oh, portobellos. They? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. portobellos. The, they're so, delicious. Yes, they yeah. are. Let's have another look at um, your next one, Dan. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a collage of several photos. Um, you know, there's blue oyster mushrooms on the left there. Left middle is blue oyster mushrooms. They're they're called blues, but they're they start out blue and then they turn brown. And then just to the right of that, the very center is is regular elm oyster mushrooms. Uh, the one in the lower right is actually a king oyster mushroom. Yes. It was a, mm -hmm. a strange mix up with the lab, and it. Uh, these logs just wouldn't produce for weeks and weeks, and, right. and, and I knew something was up. And when I dropped the temperature, they finally sprouted mm -hmm. and turned out to be the king oyster mushrooms, which uh, they call them alihis here in Hawaii. Alihi, yes, that's the Japanese name, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, it comes from the Japanese name. Uh -huh. So the temperature is different for the oyster, the king oyster mushrooms, um, as opposed to the elms. The temperature that they're grown in. Uh -huh. What is the, the temperature for it? Uh elms let's say uh around 65 is the optimum temperature okay. for the oyster for all your oyster mushroom varieties except mm -hmm. for the king oysters uh, they like it down around 60 is oh, okay. even more optimum wow. you know there's some flexibility there but mm. you know there's optimum growing seeds and okay it excellent mm -hmm. you know what fans we have to show your video because it will give the viewers a better idea of how you grow these Amazing mushrooms. I, I think you're going to enjoy this. Take a look at Vance's video. Hey, all you mushroom lovers. Captain Mushroom here. Today, I want to show you my mushroom grow operation here in the heart of Waikiki. Now, right here is my incubation tent, and over here is the fruiting tent. So, first, we put the mushrooms in these logs. These are called logs. These are straw and coffee, and you can see how the white mycelium is growing throughout here nicely. And then we poke these little holes in the bags, and that's where the mushroom are eventually gonna be coming out. These are blue mushrooms, blue oyster mushrooms, 
and they'll be ready here in about another week to be moved into the growing tent. Now over here we have the growing tent. In the growing tent we have our pond fogger that gives us our humidity and we have, it's very important to have the right humidity in here. Then I built this swamp cooler, homemade swamp cooler. It blows cold air in here and keeps uh, temperature at about 65 degrees. Now up here, I'm very excited to introduce my newest crop, the Italian oyster mushrooms. Now you can see from a scale of my finger, they've just popped out this morning and I'm very excited about them. And if you come in here real close, these, this is a very nice crop. I have to get in a little closer there. We've got the fogs kind of in the way a little bit, but yeah. These are, I'm very excited about these. Well, this is my first crop of the Italian oysters and the last crop failed due to contamination. So I'm very excited. These just came out this morning and I'm hoping to have them ready to ship out to the chefs uh, on uh, Friday or Saturday within the next two days. So to my Waikiki chefs, I'll be calling you soon. How awesome. That is such great footage. and. I myself as a chef has nev have never seen anything like that before. Really? Yes, I learned a lot um, watching that. I've watched it several times just pre um, prepping for this show, but very nice footage, yeah. Captain Mushroom on a mission. <laughs> 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 so what did you think of the title, Vegan Superhero Taking Mushrooms to a Whole New Level in Oahu? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's very flattering. <laughs> <laughs> but I like what you said at the end, um, Waikiki, to the Waikiki chefs. I think um, I make a living cooking as well, and these are going to fly out of your tent once you start yeah, getting you know, really good production going. Mm. Vance, where can we get a, um, a, get a hold of some of these mushrooms? How well, can we get a hold of them? You just pretty much got to call me. I'm just, uh, my wife and I, we're a one uh, show operation here. Uh, there's Great. our phone number, 808-365-2622. Uh, mm -hmm. Awesome. And, uh, and you're located now in, is it Kailua? You're over in Kailua now? We're on the west side, yeah. On the west side, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So get in touch. Get in touch and get some gorgeous mushrooms from Captain Mushroom. They come highly recommended. <laughs> Let's have a look at another one of Vance's photos. Which one is this, Vance? Uh, these are the golden oyster mushrooms. Yes, they're, they're a, all very different a, in color, aren't they? A bright golden uh, mushroom. Uh, this particular photo didn't turn out very clear, and for some reason we had lost the other uh, photos that we took. Mm -hmm. So it was, um, they're a little di di different. They say they taste a little bit like um, uh, chestnut. Yes, I was going to say, I find them to be a little bit more earthy. Okay, in, you've had in, them. Yes, in flavor, yes. Uh -huh. um, in Japan, not never here. I've never uh -huh. seen them here, I don't yeah. think. Um, in Japan, they carry a very large variety of mushrooms and eat a lot, consume a lot of mushrooms. So uh -huh. um, that's where my love for these fungi started. or fungus <laughs> started. But uh -huh. I love mushrooms too. Um, uh -huh. When we get back from the break, we're going to talk a little bit about the nutritional value and you know how mushrooms are good for you but mm -hmm. basically they're they're tasty so that's why we should be eating them as well mm -hmm. what's your favorite mushroom dish uh i like uh ellen makes a, a mushroom soup to die for mushroom soup i'm i love mm -hmm. that too there's something so um comforting about a big bowl of mm. Chunky, creamy, oh, yeah. or whatever mushroom soup. Yeah, oh, yeah. just your it's Yum. the mushrooms crunching on your palate and absorbing <laughs> yep. into your. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, stay tuned. We've got lots more to talk about with uh, Captain Mushroom. Um, just going for a quick break and see you after it. Konnichiwa. Think Tech Hawaii ga Nihongo de Ogri steimasu. Konnichiwa Hawaii. Host no Kunisei Ikari desu. Maishu, Kakushu, Getsuyobi. え、2時からですね。日本語で日本語で活躍されていらっしゃるハワイのいろいろな方をお招きして、ショーをゲストショーをお届けしています。え、ぜひご覧になってください。Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines. I was the head coach for the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we were fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my book, which is also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership. 
creating a superior culture of excellence, achieving and sustaining success, and finding greatness. If you're a student, parent, sports or business person, and want to improve your life and the lives of people around you, tune in and join me on Mondays at 11 a.m. as we go beyond the lines on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World, the show where we talk about everything veganism and the plant-based lifestyle. Today I have my awesome guest, um, Captain Mushroom, who is taking mushrooms to a whole new level right here in Oahu. We just showed some of Vance's um, beautiful photos and footage from the uh, place where he makes all this magic happen and creates these beautiful uh, mushrooms right here in Honolulu. So do contact uh, Captain Mushroom if you do want to get your hands on some of these gorgeous things. Um, Vance, I would like to talk a little bit about what I have been doing on the island. So if I could have my first photo. This month is all about Serbian cuisine. In mm -hmm. all of my events, I'm uh, doing vegan Serbian cuisine. So this is some vegan feta that I made using tofu, mm. um, which, has a, which resembles um, the texture of regular feta cheese. So it's a good, good way to make, um, to make the vegan version. Mm -hmm. My dad was actually Serbian, and that's yeah. why I have this love affair with Serbian food. So I use feta a lot, the vegan feta, and this is one of the um, recipes that I was doing in my cooking demo. At down to earth yesterday. Nice. Um, let's have a look at another one of my pictures. As you all know by now, I am a vegan chef and cooking instructor. I also um, do do private uh, catering for families, and this is uh, every week I do I do cater for a couple that um, ask me to prepare five dishes once a week. This is an example of one of the things I did. Um, the bottom left dance has your king oyster mushrooms in it. This is the one with the plum, plum sauce that has a bit of a barbecue sauce um, concoction going on, some tofu and kale, lots of good stuff there, roasted, uh, roasted, what have we got at the back there? What are those vegetables called at the back, Vance? Take a guess. I can't think of the word in English. <laughs> I'm not Brussels seeing... sprouts. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see them now, yeah. <laughs> Brussels sprouts, yeah. In Japanese, the word is me cabbage. Mm -hmm. That means small baby cabbage. Oh, yeah. And that's the word that was coming. I, could, I couldn't <laughs> think of the, the word in English. Oh. But anyway, there's um, an idea of... Uh, and the soup actually in the middle is a mushroom soup, a creamy mushroom soup with corn mm. um, that I made. So let's have a look at one more. Mm. Yeah, this is my Serbian menu for this month. Top left is a Iva, which is a red bell pepper sauce that mm. is um, very, very popular over there in Serbia. Some beans, also beans, very popular there. Spinach and tofu, uh, filo pastry pie. Again, everything has feta cheese in it. Down the bottom right, um, which you and your beautiful wife, Ellen, are going to sample, is some Serbian cornbread with broccoli and vegan feta cheese. Uh, so very interesting um, flavors going on in Serbia. <laughs> yeah. Would you say it's spicy food? No, not no? at all. It's actually quite mild on the oh. palate, very similar to all the, all the um, countries in the Balkans in that area all have sort of simil similar um, dishes using lots of paprika or paprika. Is that right? Yeah, lots of um, feta cheese again. Uh, Serbia is definitely a meat-eating country, so had my dad still been here with us today, I think he would have been, I don't know if the <laughs> word is, <laughs> I don't know what the word is, but probably very surprised I'd gone and veganized his whole country's cuisine. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> uh -huh. For the planet. For the planet, and yes. And for our health. And for our health, yes. So one more of mine, if you don't mind, Haley. This is um, some upcoming events. So. Next week, I have more cooking demos featuring the vegan Serbian cuisine, uh, my seven-course dinners as usual. And next month, 
I'm going to be doing four course vegan brunch as my uh, cooking demos and cooking classes. And also we'll be doing that at Down to Earth. So lots of um, vegan events uh, I'll be holding and looking forward to. <laughs> and thank you to everyone at Down to Earth who came yesterday to my demos. I really appreciate it. So Captain Mushroom, <laughs> getting back to mushrooms, um, they are actually very good for you. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah. very good for you. So I did, um, did prepare a little bit of a nutritional profile of the mushrooms. So yeah. Most mushrooms, there's obviously a large variety, but basically they all have about the same sort of nutritional value and calories. Mm -hmm. So about one cup of chopped or sliced mushrooms comes to only 15 calories, yeah. zero grams of fat. 2.2 grams of protein, 2.3 grams of carbohydrates, that's low, and it also includes 0 0.7 grams of fiber and 1.4 grams of sugar. Mm. So basically there are five things that I found, um, according to most research and studies, basically uh, mushrooms are known to lower cholesterol, le cholesterol levels, alleviate inflammation, Mm -hmm. They are also obviously packed with antioxidants, um, may block cancer growth, and mm -hmm. boost brain health. Yeah, and your immune, immune system. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the lion's mane mushroom in particular, um, they, they're using mm. for, you know, Alzheimer patients and as well as the dementia patients. Yes. Yeah, they're getting uh, positive results. With yes, that. definitely. So this boosting brain health, that, that I think is... Um, a very something that maybe not a lot of people know about. Maybe people oh, should be uh -huh. eating more mushrooms or incorporating more mushrooms into their diet, just just to be sure. You know? Oh yeah, Why no, not? we had some lion's mane, Ellen and I, a while mm -hmm. back, and we were just sharper. We could remember things quicker. Oh we, we really? A you significant know... difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I might have to up the um, up the ante on the mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was an article by the Medical News recently that talks about um, mushrooms and as regards to cancer, what you just mentioned earlier on, mushrooms are very high in anti antioxidants, mm -hmm. just like carrots, tomatoes, green and red peppers, pumpkins, green beans, zucchini and other whole foods. Antiox antioxidants are chemicals that get rid of free radicals type of chemical that can harm a person's body cells, potentially leading to cancer. Did you notice, fans, that in this little quote that I just mentioned, nothing says that you need to eat more animal products? Oh, nothing there for that. <laughs> we don't so, need it. We're, our bodies weren't, the creator didn't design our intestines with, you know, as, as much length that we have mm -hmm. uh, to be eating meat, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's right. The that's shape of the teeth, there's no fangs. Yeah. The the claws not strong enough to to really a baby a baby would not be able to attack a chicken on its own and mm. yeah. get into it probably. But would would eat an apple that had fallen off the tree. Yeah. All the carnivore animals' intestines are way shorter than ours. Yep. So, yeah. You did mention to me earlier on, Vance, that how, let me go back. How did, how did you become vegan? Well, Ellen uh, got me into veganism. Uh, uh -huh. She started cooking great. Waved the magic wand uh -huh. with her little wooden spoon. Uh -huh. I know most, that's, how we, that's how we do it, fans. We cook for you guys and then you fall in love. It's, <laughs> did you not it's know that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked anyway, and, and yep. you ended up with your beautiful wife. Yeah. So she sort of... She was vegan before you turned, you became yes. vegan? Okay. Oh, yeah. And she was, she eased me into it. She's like, you know, I'm like, I could really use a steak. I haven't had a steak since we've met, you mm -hmm. know, because she was cooking almost every night. And uh -huh. she goes, oh, I'll cook you a steak, you know, if I have to. And she, and so she was, she's like, we're non-judgmental, you know, and she cooked me the Great. steak, even though she's like, it kills me inside, but I'll do it, you know. <laughs> That's love. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, she eased me into it, and, and, you know, as time went on, you know, she, you know, 90% of the time she cooked, so, mm -hmm. 
and all this good vegan food. And I was just so yep. surprised that vegan food could be so delicious. Right. You know, I always thought it was rabbit food, you know. Vegan and, food, yes. rabbit food, you know. Yes. I think, I think that um, stereotype is slowly starting to disappear now that more and more vegan food is becoming, you know, sort of mainstream oh. and a lot of people, a yeah. lot of uh, fast food restaurants. Yeah, have you seen um, the uh, Burger King just yes, came out this with week? with the Impossible This burger. week we had them. We went straight down and drove. The first time we've been in the drive-up window in a few right. years now. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, I know. How was it? Oh, they were del- just, just like a Whopper. Delicious. Flame, bro- flame broiled taste. You couldn't tell the difference. In fact, Ellen's like, I think they put meat in here and just they're selling them as impossible because they ran out of them. Yes, and, a lot of people are saying that. Because they taste the same. I know. Yesterday I was at uh, Down to Earth. I had just finished my demo. Sitting outside, I was drinking iced tea. A person next to me had bought the Impossible Burger and was sitting down eating it and t- just going through how, what he thought about mm. it. And he said exactly the same thing. He's like, dude, I swear there's meat in this. I hope they didn't make a mistake. Yeah. But that's how convincing this product is i mean it, it yeah it's come along must way. be very very what, close what's the other main uh, burger? beyond the beyond burger yes. also is exceptionally delicious yes well, and that's so great i mean there are some people there are some vegans who who sort of criticize that co- that sort of food calling it unhealthy or a bad example of vegan food but um in my opinion i support People, I, I support these products whether I eat them or not. They're awesome for people who are transitioning or people who are trying to learn how to eat more plant-based food. So yeah. um, I definitely support all of that alternative. Oh, yeah. when, you, when you're meat. at a barbecue, you know, it's good to just throw a couple vegan patties on the barbie yes. and be, uh, join the party. Absolutely, you know? yeah. And, that, yeah, you feel more part of the, the social... <laughs> Um, team, don't you? Yeah. And you see how quickly the time's gone. We are running out of time and do have to close. Uh-huh. Would you like to say something quickly before we close? Well, I don't know. I mean, um, we're uh, uh, starting out small right now. Uh, we don't, and but we'll be having more mushrooms available in time. So if you want to give us a call, uh, our phone number is eight zero eight three six five twenty six twenty two. And you know, give us a call, and we'll, we either have mushrooms in or we don't. We're buying a couple of restaurants already, so uh, we awesome. may have them. But yeah, within the next few months, we'll have a lot more mushrooms. We'll be a lot better off. And you'll be lucky to get your hands on them before I do, because I'll be there mm-hmm. calling you for, for more mm-hmm. of your excellent produce. Thank you, everyone, for watching Lillian's Vegan World. Look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Have a great weekend, and aloha. Aloha.